Thank you guys for joining me today on Instinctive Addiction Archery. I'm Jeff Phillips. I've got a really good one for you today. Uh, probably one of the very most important videos I believe I've ever shared. Uh, I've been wanting to bring this one to you for a while. And what we're gonna do today, a little something different. Not only am I gonna show you what I got going on here in the yard, but I'm gonna take you along to a 3d shoot and show you how what i'm going to tell you about comes into play in an actual 3d shoot okay so guys today's video deals with a very important subject okay maybe maybe you're one of the guys that is struggling i mean really really struggling one day you're on one day you're off one day you're shooting good next day you're not Maybe you can group at a certain distance, and at a different distance, it falls apart. Guys, there's an answer to that, okay? There is an answer, and there is a cure. And I'm going to share with you, from the heart, what I believe you may want to try to pull it off, bring those groups together, improve your accuracy, your consistency, and your confidence with a trad bow. Guys? It's all about being accurate, okay? And I realize that not everyone is born with the hand-eye coordination to shoot. If there is such a thing as strictly instinctive, not everybody can do it, okay? And that's okay. Because the mass of shooters, whether they admit it or whether they don't, are using the arrow in some form or fashion as a reference, as an aiming tool to shoot consistent and accurate. Okay, guys, and there is nothing wrong with that. Let me show you what I got here, guys. I want you to pay very close attention to today's video and what it deals with, and that is using the arrow. Let that arrow tell you what you need to do let it tell you when things are right and when they're wrong use that arrow like you would shooting an iron sight rifle that's right guys an iron sight rifle if you've shot even a something as simple as a bb gun you aim that thing at the target you have a front sight and you have a rear sight well with an arrow same thing front sight rear sight now you say well how does this work how did how, how do you talk about this okay guys when you draw a bow and you come into your anchor if you use your arrow to aim with at all this is what you need to do now if you choose to all out gap shoot judge yardage and calculate where you want to put your point or your insert it, for precise gap shooting that's fine but that's something that has to be uh, really really acquired through a lots of practice to get good at especially the judging yardage what i'm going to talk about today is way more way more of instinctive aiming if you will let's call it instinctive aiming where i'm going to demonstrate how you can come into your anchor using your dominant eye i'm right eye dominant i shoot right-handed okay and even if you shoot both eyes open your brain will automatically tell which eye to pretty much dominate okay if you are right eye dominant by nature if that's how you were born then getting that arrow right under your dominant eye getting your head into it and getting it right under your dominant eye you're going to be able to see down that shaft as it is. You're gonna see right down that arrow shaft. And you're gonna see pretty much the whole shaft. And when it is in alignment with that target, front and rear, you can't miss. It's impossible to miss unless you pluck the string or drop your arm or do something to, th to throw the shot away. But if that arrow is pointed perfectly at that spot, it's going to be on right and left. Now, you say, okay, how do you deal with your elevation? That is the instinctive part, guys. 
That's the part through practice that you acquire through shooting over and over and over with your bow, your arrows, the weight of your arrows, the trajectory of your setup to figure that out, okay? Every arrow has what's called a point on. Guys, the word point on came from the term point blank. In other words, if you go point blank to a target, say two feet away, and you draw your bow, and you put the tip right on the little spot, guess what? It's going in that spot because it's point blank. It cannot go anywhere else. But as you back up, that arrow begins to have an arch. It's the trajectory, the arch of the arrow, the arc, if you will. That's your arrow's trajectory. So it goes from point blank or point on at point blank distance to where that meets again or vice versa, which may be 30 yards. In other words, if you shoot at a point blank distance, looking at your tip and it goes exactly where you want it, it may not do that again until you get 30 yards back when you completely blot out the little 12 ring with your tip. Maybe 30 yards, maybe 25, maybe 35. Every bow's different, trajectory's different on every bow, and you have to figure that out if that's what you're gonna do. But I'm gonna teach you guys, hopefully today, how you can split that difference, okay? How you can let that arrow in your peripheral vision help you to shoot extremely accurate while you're focused on the spot okay this is how lots and lots and lots of people shoot guys very very accurate okay and i'm gonna try try to demonstrate this for you in other words if you're having trouble just looking at a spot drawing and shooting it and hitting it over and over and over again Maybe you need to develop an aiming style, an aiming method, if you will, that will help you to get where you need to be. And that's what I'm gonna to try to show you guys today. So, in other words, if I come up to this target, say a 20 yard target, and I look at that spot where I wanna shoot it, if I come into my anchor and I get that arrow under, I get it up under, my dominant eye like this and when you can't the bow a little bit a little bit of a can't opens up your sight window and it allows you it allows you to really get your draw arm back in line in other words my elbow is almost in line with the front of the arrow everything is in alignment my head goes down goes on top of my hand my right eye is looking right down that shaft and I'm looking at my spot, but my peripheral sees. It sees when I've got that thing just right. Now, the up and down part comes from practice. Knowing at 20 yards, I shoot instinctive, as in I don't really pay attention to the elevation. But if you're having trouble with that, I'm gonna share with you what the cure is for that, guys. Learning to look at a spot and also pay attention to where that arrow tip's at in relation to that, just like gap shooting, every time at any distance. That's what I'm gonna show you guys today. Okay, I'll give you an example. I'm gonna shoot at that bear target. I'm gonna come in and I don't hold long, but I'll hold just long enough to settle into anchor and acquire the verification that my arrow is good right and left and that the up and down appears to be where I know it needs to be to hit that spot. In this case, with this bow, if I were to pay close attention to my tip at 20 yards, it's about five inches, about five inches with a 29 inch arrow. Longer the arrow, shorter that distance becomes. But with a 29 inch arrow, I know that I pretty much put my insert right there at the bottom of that eight ring that's about where it would really be but i don't really do that it's happening but i personally am looking at the spot and letting my peripheral see where it's at while i'm at full draw and then execute 
just like this guys but using the arrow to line up is very important especially at distance it's not so critical at 10 yards or or closer than that there's really not a lot of need in it but when you back up to 20 25 30 whatever absolutely it is it's a game changer guys here we go i'll show you what i'm talking about okay i shot left why did i shoot left number one because evidently i didn't pay attention to where i had it right i just pretty much drew back and shot and i shot left watch this i'm going to pay close attention to where this thing's at now complete alignment just like that much better okay There it is, right there. Perfect shot. I'll shoot another. You're drawing, you're holding long enough to know that you've got things right and expand through the shot, okay? Just like that, over and over and over and over again. Now, how can you do that consistently at any distance? Well, it's simple. Number one, master the anchor. I hate to even call it an anchor because if you think about it in theory, an anchor stops and goes no further. It, it just anchors, okay? It's not really a good term for what, what you need to do. In other words, what you need to do, I'll, I'll give you guys a side view of a pull through. It's a constant, constant pulling and expanding through the shot once you have settled okay i've got a bag over there so i'll just i'll show you guys what i mean once you draw and you acquire your aim okay it's like you never quit pulling you just pull just enough just enough that the arrow rolls off of your fingers it rolls off okay and i'll do it again focus settle like that it just it's that little minute once you're in that, that little mini rolling back expanding like your chest comes forward your blades come together it just rolls off your hand whereas if you are stationary and you try to let go then all of a sudden you're gonna fling you're gonna you're gonna pluck it's gonna it's gonna fly off your hand and your hand's gonna come out when you try to do it that way you have to have it tucked in and it's just expand through it until it just comes off it's like a surprise basically you know that you're at full draw you know when you're there and then it's a matter of just staring and expanding and, it, and the shot happens guys when you do that every time your shot's going to be dead on so i'm going to grab these arrows and I'm going to do another little demonstration for you guys to try to help you understand exactly what I mean with this aiming system, guys. So hopefully this will help you. Hang with me just a second. Okay, guys. I'm going to demonstrate something to you. If you were an all-out gap shooter, knowing that your point on was, say, 28, 30 yards, from zero distance, point blank range, to that, your arrow tip is naturally going to be a little bit below what you're trying to hit, okay? That's called your gap, all right? So, to show you that instinctive aiming, and it is a learned process, guys. It's gonna take practice. You're just gonna have to first get out here, start shooting paying more attention to your arrow okay if you're having trouble just looking at the spot and shooting pay way more attention to your arrow especially at some distance let that arrow tell you when you are right when it is where it needs to be okay now i'm going to demonstrate let's just say 
different distances, you will instinctively know where to hold to hit what you want to hit. You will learn that, okay? In other words, aim small, miss small. How do you aim small and miss small? Well, if you aim small, that means your eyes have to focus on the spot, right? You have to. You have to aim at a little tiny, tiny spot. You can't just look at your gap. You got to look at the spot. Let that peripheral see where that arrow's at in relation to that target that you're trying to hit, okay? This is a whole new concept, guys, but I've had so many, so many friends and so many shooters lately struggling. And I've struggled. I've struggled lots of times. I have days that I'm on fire and days that I'm not. And guys, I promise you, using an aiming system, even for me, would be a far better deal, okay? Now again, I am a hunter. I don't think about a lot of things. I just shoot, okay? But let's just say, go to a 3D course like we went to today. You've got time to look at a target out there and shoot a process that involves aiming. And it's very, very accurate, guys. If, if you want to shoot higher scores, you're going to have to start aiming. I'm just going to tell you now, you're not going to outscore a guy that's aiming. It's not going to happen. Okay, so, so be it. There's nothing wrong with it. And if that's what you want to do, do it. So I'm going to try to help you figure out what you can do to way improve your scores, your shooting overall, and then take it to the woods where you have ultimate confidence in your rig, where you look at an animal and say, I cannot miss. If I put this arrow where it needs to go, it's going there. It's just like a sight on a gun. They don't miss. When you line the sights up on an iron sight rifle, front sight and rear sight, right there on the spot, guess what? Boom, it's on. It does not miss, neither does this arrow. So there's nothing wrong with using it, okay? So I've got, I've got a little tiny, little tiny white thing here, five yards, a little piece of foam. I'm gonna show you that this can be done using peripheral vision. I'm looking at that little tiny, tiny spot, but my peripheral knows that that arrow needs to be just a little bit under it. And I let my peripheral tell me when I got it right. And it's just from practice. Guys, here we go. Like that right there. Now, I got a bottle. 10 yards. Got the little Mountain Dew bottle. Same thing. Five yards further. That one's, that one's 10 yards. I'm looking at the bottle. I'm not really paying attention to where I've got this. I'm lining up. When I do my draw, I'm looking at that bottle. And I've already got my arrow tip my arrow tip right now is at the bottom of it. If I was to just look at it and look at my arrow, my tip is right there at the dead gun bottom of it. And I guarantee you, if I drew straight back without moving, I guarantee you to plug it. Because I know that's just where it needs to be. One thing also that'll help you. When you come to full draw, squint your less dominant eye. Squint your left eye. If you're a right-hand shooter, barely, barely close your left eye. You can do it both eyes open. But if you will barely squint that left eye, it will create tunnel vision. It will let you hone in on that arrow and on that spot, just like shooting a gun. Most people can't shoot a gun both eyes open, can they? Nope. Try shooting an iron sight rifle with both eyes open. It's pretty hard. Close one eye and you're dead on. Same thing. I shaved the edge of it. Up and down could not be more perfect. I'm one inch to the left of it. Just like that. All I did was look at the thing, drew back, noticed my tip was right there at the bottom of it, dead centered it. That's how you do it. It's not hard, but I did pay attention to that arrow. I paid attention to it, and it let me know that it was dead on right and left, that the front sight and the rear sight were lined up with my anchor, that my anchor, being where it needs to be, head into it, lined up, that the back of that arrow was right. It wasn't out too far, which would make it shoot left. It wasn't in too close, which would make it shoot right. It was tucked in right where it needed to be, and my elevation was just paying attention through my peripheral, squinting that eye a little bit, 
and putting that right under the bottom of that bottle. Bam, okay? If you learn how to do this and you practice it, your accuracy is gonna go through the roof, guys. It will. Okay, now, going out to the, to the 3D tarp. All right, about two inches to the right. And we'll fill that hole up this time. Dead on. That one's dead in there. See, and I don't even hold real long. It doesn't take me long to acquire my aim. It really doesn't. Bam, right in there. Can't get any better. So guys, nobody's perfect. Nobody is. If you are struggling, if you're struggling at all with any part of your shot, any part of it, I don't care what it is. If you're struggling, do something different. Don't keep doing the same thing. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over, expecting different results, right? Everybody knows that. Why is it any different in archery? If what you are doing is not 1,000% dead on accurate and working for you, do something different. Start aiming. Use that arrow, okay? Use it. And the trick is learn how to become an instinctive aimer. In other words, where you can forget exactly how many yards that target is. If you're within five yards of wherever it's at, fine. Doesn't do, do matter. Instinctively, you will figure out through practice where you need to elevate your bow with your arrows and it be dead on. You'll figure it out real quick. If it makes sense, you may have to go up to a big bale target and start shooting at five yards. Lining up, looking down that arrow, closing one eye, paying attention to the tip, putting it 10 inches under your little dot, whatever you gotta do to figure out, okay, this is where this arrow's got to be to hit right here. Okay, figure that out. Back up five more yards, do it over again. And you'll see that the further you get out, the less amount you hold it below till you come to your point on. Once you have done that enough, then it becomes instinctive, where you just walk up to a target and look at it and say, hmm, okay. Draw back, focus at the spot, let your peripheral vision, your peripheral vision will automatically adjust and it will know. It will just know where it needs to be from shooting your bow. It will tell you when it's high enough, when it's just right, whatever the deal is. You won't have to guess it, guys. But if you choose, to every time use that tip, it will not do you wrong as long as you can judge the yards. If you wanna get really precise, learn how to judge yardage and know exactly where to put that tip at any distance and it will go where you want it to, okay? That's how most people shoot. But I'm trying to teach you a way through practice that you can get dead on really, really quick with just a little bit of help from paying a little more attention to your arrow, okay? It's called instinctive aiming, guys. Instinctive aiming is the way to go. If you're a hunter, it will not let you go wrong, I promise you guys. And what will happen is you will develop, you will develop the ability to just look at something and shoot it without thinking about anything. You'll notice that you won't really recall even looking at your arrow. You won't really recall it mentally. When you walk up and make a shot, you'll think, well, I don't really remember paying attention to where that arrow was. If you do something enough, your peripheral will pick up and it will happen, muscle memory. Your body will adapt and adjust and it'll make that shot, okay? But until you get to that point, maybe you need to be very conscious of it. Be very, very aware of that arrow, and it will not let you down, guys. Let the arrow help you make the shot, okay? Use it. Use that iron sight that you've got coming out of this bow, okay? Use that gun barrel, if you will. That's what it is, front sight and rear sight. Use it. Make the best of it, guys, and I promise you, it will help you in your accuracy. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. 
So check out the super cool, really fun video that we put together today. It, it just, we just took some footage at a, at a local shoot we went to, just having a good time and showing you, okay, how you can make some, some really difficult shots easy. I mean, some, some compound level shots. And believe me, that's what most of these were. Not traditional range. This was a, a compound shoot, basically. So really, really challenging. But it works. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if it's 30, 40 yards. Doesn't matter. The arrow will not lie to you guys. It will not. So check it out. All right, go ahead. We got a, right, a we got a Doberman, deer. whatever the Doberman pincher deer. Good shot. Whatever it is. <laughs> there it is. Whatever it is. There it is, right there. <laughs> Shoot for the pink. I like my pink fletchings, I can see them good. All right. Yeah. All right, show us the 12. Now that's 25 yards. Now, there you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. At least a heart shot. I got y'all. Close. It's a twelve. I don't know if it is or not. It's cut out right there. You come look through the hole. All right. Twenty-five yards back. You can fit Cutters, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I ate. No, no, his ain't. Mine is. That is a piece. Small targets, I guess, make you focus a little harder. Mm -hmm. They do. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you ought to be able to shoot a dead center of a 12 from here. Mm -hmm. Like that right there. Just like it, ain't no problem. Ain't nothing but a thing. <laughs> Take it on out. Oh, he almost did. Yeah. Yeah. Almost did. Yeah. Dead. That's for sure. Dead. No. It's definitely close, it's close to 40. 40? Where are you going to shoot from? I'm going to try and see if I can get this thing. Is this the next one? Yeah. We should wait up there. Shot man, good shot. Cool. Mm. This thing's about 25 yards. Look at that. That's our 12 if it ever was one. Mm -hmm. That is the 12 if it ever was one. I wish you could love the pink air up in there try to bust it. Out. I knew where the kill button was. Good shot. You just took a little bit. Right between them shoulders, buddy. You don't hit him now, you're going to hear him roll when he's coming at you. I'm right beside your wear. <laughs> you can barely see it. Shot, shot That's cool. That is cool. If I can't get this left up. Yeah, right Take you another one. Take your on, put it on me. Shoot it them air, Sean, if you can't see between his shoulders. Alright, still lift the hair a little. Let me see if I can twist this thing. What's going on with everything? There it is. There it is All right, go ahead and get us a 12. Show us what's up. I'm a wolf. That rock's good. Shut up. Mm-hmm. They're all right there together. 
Oh yeah, it's gonna be a tough hit the cat all the way, way back there by the woods. Right here. Yeah. Lost I don't know, focus. That ain't no problem. You ready? Yeah, you killed the tree back the here. Tree. That's the only one I'm gonna shoot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna stretch out. For sure. Way out there. That's the toughest one yet, right here. Yeah. What's up? Uh, what's up? What's up? What's <laughs> up? It is out there for real. I couldn't even see where it hit. It looked like it's just up, right. up to the right. I get shot, Pop. You let it catch. You almost hit his air. <laughs> I believe. That thing is way out there. I believe. Can't even half see it in the shadows. No. It went dead. No. You gonna try another one, Sean? No, I'm gonna. Go ahead and play. I'll figure out what I'm doing. Shoot that 12. I was raising it too much. Give him another one. <laughs> Give him another one. <laughs> I was raising too much of it. <laughs> At them distances, you just got to hold it for them. There you go. Show him on the foot. <laughs> All right. It's a little over 20 yards. Maybe the first day I shot mine since the last time we shot together. It's been a while. Good shot. Just a little right. Hold on what you said. No, I did use a little bit in oh, November yeah. thinking about taking the can. I never could get my confidence up enough. Go ahead. See if you can hit it. There you go. That one's in there. Oh, I'm gonna tell you, when you get 76 years old, you get tired. You can get tired. Good, Good shot. <laughs> That's three in a row, Lou. Yeah. What am I doing? I don't know. Correct it. Figure it out. I don't know what I'm doing. You're shooting too. left. You come in in tight with your anchor either. Not, 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 not expanding through the shot and not locking in you almost want to once you get an anchor keep pulling once you got everything lined up just just kind of bring your shoulder blades together and just keep oh, keep pulling I pull, I pull, yeah. here here's the real deal okay Spread out, Pops. You're the world's worst to stand in front of a camera. Well, we tried to film Tanner Hill and you stood in front of it every oh, time yeah. after you shot. There you go. Now, what'd you do to Change my anchor. Come in tighter? Yes. Okay. There you go. Whatever you're doing, do that every yeah. time. All right, let me shoot one time for you. Right there. Whatever that was, it worked. Slight little changes make all the difference in the world. Okay. What's the hit the target? Oh. <laughs> yeah. So fun. Alright, I'm gonna bust them 12 so we're hauling airs in there. 
Oh, what I call? I called it, didn't I? Called it. You look at it. I got another. Let me call it. I got to do that. Y'all gave me something to look at, didn't you? How long do you pink hair, Jeff? 29. 29 inches. I like it. They're the same. They're exact same. Probably 500. No, 600. I shoot 600s out of this. Right back there. 44 pound buck. Right back to shooting left. Up. They don't shoot to the left. You shot to the left. All right. Cool. That animal. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to thank you again for joining me today on Instinctive Addiction Archery. I'm Jeff Phillips. Pray that everything that I say and do will bring honor to the good Lord above that gives us all things to enjoy. I love archery, love this sport, love shooting my bows, and I get great satisfaction out of being around people, encouraging people, and guys, that's all I want to do. I want to share insight that will help you become a better bow hunter. And of course, better on the 3D range and, and all that and in your own backyard. But ultimately, ultimately in the woods when it's time to hunt. You know, guys, that's for the bow hunter, that's what matters. But there's nothing wrong with shooting good scores either. When you go to your local club shoot or a major 3D tournament or event, everybody wants to shoot good, right? Well, I promise you, I promise you, if you will use what I'm telling you today, do it on your next one. Start today. You watch this video today. Get your bow out there and start paying attention to that arrow. And I promise you guys, you, you send me a message. If it does not help you, if you're strictly shooting instinctive, like I always have, and maybe you're not shooting that good, not consistent, okay? If you are, that's great. Don't worry about it. But if you're not, or if you go to the local 3D shoot and you don't shoot too hot, one good one here, one bad one there, something's going on, do something about it. Send me your comments. Send me your questions, guys. I want to know. I want to know if this has helped you because I believe in all my heart that it will. I promise you. And that's why I'm bringing it to you today, to give you an alternative, an alternative method that will help you shoot accurate. I mean, really, really, really improve your game and help you to be a better boat hunter thank you guys for joining me on instinctive addiction archery i'm jeff phillips i love you guys so much appreciate you watching if you have not subscribed please hit that button uh we're right at ten thousand. uh as of yesterday we're right at ten thousand subscribers which is amazing okay lord willing it's going to go way further than that but hey it is what it is. It's not about anything except helping people, guys. And it excites me when people subscribe and they comment and they send their, their messages and they say, Jeff, hey, man, I got this bow, this setup. What do I need to do? What kind of arrows do I need to run? Uh, telling me about their setup and, and, and coming to me with their questions about helping them get set up. I love it, guys. I love being able to help people. Okay, I do. Through all the trial and errors that I've been through in this, I don't want people to have to go through that. I want to help you find the shortcut and get going right the first time, okay? As fast as possible. Same way with shooting. If one thing's not working for you, do something different. Do something else that works. That's what you got to do. Whatever it takes for you to shoot good groups, do it. Do it. And your confidence will go sky high, guys. Thank you again for joining me on Instinctive Addiction Archery. Love you guys. Till next time. Goodbye.